all right back with another advice video today we have a man that slapped his wife but for a surprising reason now i want you watching this to comment some advice for him or comment what he should have did or what you would have did in his situation as i tell you the story so he says my wife and i have been married for six years and have three children my wife is a stay-at-home mom our son who is three years old is very hyperactive she is naturally strict with our children, but our son really struggles to listen to her and stay still. I admit that he is a difficult child. Yesterday, when I came back home from work, I noticed that my son had bandages on the back of his hands. When I asked my wife about it, she told me that he was fooling around, running in the kitchen, and accidentally burnt himself. I found her explanation very weird because the location of the burning. It was in the middle of the back of both of his hands, which is a very weird spot to fall on, which was weird. She finally admitted that she burnt his hands on purpose with a very hot metal spoon that she was cooking with because he kept running in the kitchen and wouldn't stay still. When she told me this, I slapped her and yelled at her. Thinking that she purposely inflicted such pain on our three-year-old son drove me crazy. The burns are very visible and he will do treatment for it. I never hit my wife before, but I honestly feel like she deserved it for what she did to our son. This one is very controversial. Some people will say that you should have hit her. Some people will say that you shouldn't. Honestly, I can't think of a direct answer. Should you have hit her? No. But as a father, I completely understand. I don't think you should have hit her, but I'm not mad at you for hitting her. And that might sound wrong, but she purposely burned a three-year-old's hand. Not on accident, purposefully. If anybody hurt my child and like in a way like that i'm gonna want to hit him so that's why i say i understand why you did it should you have did it no but i completely understand would i have done it no i wouldn't have done it but i would most definitely call the police now you're kind of in a sticky situation yeah she burnt his hand but that's not a justified reason for you to put your hands on her so if she wanted to call the police, she can, because you can't say if it was self-defense. She didn't do anything to you. So like the way the law works, technically you hit her for no reason. Even though she hurt your son, morally, it may feel like you did the right thing, but legally you didn't. And honestly, you could go to jail, but you can say the same thing for her because there's child endangerment and some other charges. So <laughs> honestly, both of y'all could end up in jail. I think it's best for you to just leave the police out because if you call the police about what she did to your son, then she can also call the police and say that you hit her. You know, at that point, both of y'all going to be in jail fighting charges. I wouldn't be able to forgive her for that. I don't think you should. I don't think no good father would be able to forgive anybody that hurt their kids like that. I would say divorce, but I don't know if you hitting her would help her in court because if it would, then you just dig, you just dug yourself in an even deeper hole. But if it wouldn't, then obviously divorce. I feel I think divorce is the best option anyway. But being honest, the way the court systems are set up, most of the time when you have custody battles, it's going to go to the woman unless she's just mentally unstable. And like with this one, like this this case would be so weird because you can make the case that hey, she endangered our child. She purposely burnt his hand, right? That can make her lose custody. But at the same time, she can say that, hey, he hit me. So how do I not know that he's not hitting our child when I'm not around? That that is some form of endangerment. And the judge, a lot of times, that's how dudes lose custody because they hit women and you never know if they do it to the child. If somebody has recent history of their actions being violent, you don't want that around your child. So then the judge can rule in her favor. So now it's like, okay, whose side are you going to pick? And then at that point, it's like, okay, can the child go with a grandma or something? Or I think y'all just need to split up and just leave it alone. Because, like, I know you want to call the police. And honestly, that would be the best thing. But you messed that up by hitting her. Because one thing we can all agree on as men, when it comes to hitting women, the police do not play. They won't even let you explain yourself. They're going to arrest you. You're guilty until proven innocent. If a woman say that you did anything to her, you're already deemed guilty. It doesn't matter if she has proof or not. That's how it always go. That's how it's always been. So if she say that you hit her, which you admit that you did, you're automatically going to jail. 
automatically before you can even explain yourself. They don't care what reason you had. You're going to jail regardless. Right. So it's either both of y'all can end up in jail or both of y'all can lose custody of the kid because she endangered the kid. But you also just showed a violent history. So now the judge is going to think, OK, well, if he hits her, then maybe he hits the kid, too. And I don't want the kid to be abused. So then it's like, OK, neither one of y'all are fit to be parents. That's how the judge would think. So now it's like. You should have never hit her. You, you should have never hit her. That was a mess up. That was a mess up. Because honestly, I don't know what you should do. I honestly, I don't know. Because if you call the police on her, I'm telling you now, she's most definitely calling them on you. And if you get a divorce, you know, divorces, you know, you got to go through court. You got to do all that. The judge is going to know why y'all divorcing. So either you can come up with a lie and say, hey, it's just mutual. You can do that. You know, keep it calm and peaceful. That way nobody loses custody. But if you tell the judge the truth, honestly, I wouldn't give neither one of y'all custody because you hitting your wife. Even though it was only one time, it doesn't matter. You still did it. You hitting your wife. And then she burning his hand. It's like, who do I give the child to? Like, you know? So then at that point, I wouldn't want to give neither one of y'all custody, you know? So I feel like the best thing to do is to just you and her divorce. But y'all just going to have to lie about it and be like, hey, we just outgrew each other. Nothing else happened. Because if you tell the truth, there's a possibility y'all might mess around and lose custody, you know? So... Honestly, do what you think is best, because you, you kind of dug yourself in a little hole. <laughs> That's the advice I got for you, if, if it helps at all. But with that, God loves you. I'm out.